Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. So Cardano has today fulfilled here the um, forecast. We have come down to the expected price levels and it is following this Elliott Wave count to the downside where we wanted to break below the low of the wave D at 43.5 cents. We did that. We wanted to break below the low of the wave B, which we did below 42.2 cents. So all of that has been achieved. Next target would now be, despite the recovery here, um, the low at 38.5 cents. Yeah, and that could then happen in this wave okay. five to the downside. So let's take a look at a few things here on the chart. Overall, I'm still expecting here that this ABCDE triangle was finished and that we actually that you know i told you back here that was on the 8th of july in the video that probably the wave e high was in and that we were exploring here the elliott wave count to the downside which is following it perfectly in addition to that i showed you here this head and shoulders bearish trend continuation pattern this was broken as well as we broke below 43 and a half cents so this also takes us down further um, ideal target to complete this correction is in my opinion 29 cents uh, 29 to 30 that's the 88.7% FIP level. We don't necessarily need to get there, but this would be a very hard support level where I think the price will be drawn towards, okay? Uh, currently following here very nicely, this Elliott Wave count um, that we talked about from the high here. Remember that we talked about the wave E could be finished. We looked at the wave one, we looked at the wave two, target reached. Now we looked at the wave three. Here various targets were reached. The wave four target was reached also for that wave. Um, three, I told you it will probably be an extended one. We reached here the 200% extension here, yeah, dropped even a little bit lower than that. So that is all fine. Uh, but something more important has been reached. Yeah, we can see here within this wave three in white, we had a five wave move down in yellow, again, with each of them with, with certain sub waves. But again, shows you just how, how nice this is and how nice this all works out because the target for a wave five can be usually seen as the length of the wave one. So if you take a look at that, we reached exactly the 100%. So basically wave five was exactly the same length as wave one, very nice. And that gives us the strong indication that here, this wave three is done and that we are now in this wave four, basically following currently the Bitcoin wave count, okay? Um, here, what I would look at for this retracement in this wave four, would be, first of all, a move at least to the 23.6% Fibonacci retracement level. Let's see if we are actually doing that. And you can see we've already reached the 23.6% Fib level. I would now be looking at the 38.2 level at 43.4 cents in a wave four to the upside. That is always the ideal level for a wave four, um, especially as we have broken above the 23.6% level anyway. From here, I would then expect to move down. Now, if we go higher and if we go above 44.4 cents, then that is the 50% uh, retracement. If we go above 44.4 cents, we will need to explore if we have a harder low in here, yeah, something more substantial. For now, the way I see it, um, it indicates that we are going higher here, possibly all the way to 44.4, but better only to 43.4 would reverse down and then come down in five waves to finish off this overall correction. And this is currently what we're following, yeah? Um, anything else to say? Not really. I think another indication why we only go to 43.4, at least an indication that this is a strong resistance level, is not only because it's the ideal target for a wave four, so it is the 43.4 cent level, 38.2% FIB level, um, Another indication is that this was the previous wave four high. So it is a significant resistance level. Yeah, so we want to look at that. And also, not only that, it was also here the wave D low. Okay. So the triangle is broken. Yeah. Um, reason to celebrate. Yeah, because it's been working out. So here I always told you best indication, first indication that triangle is going to break here is the move below the wave D and the breakout will happen below the wave below, so below 42 cents. It was broken, that's it, you know, triangle is done. We can't, we can't be in the triangle anymore. If we move higher again, it would be, it would need to be something different. Um, for now it's following, however, this sell-off scenario very well. And I've been telling you throughout, we need another lower low in an ideal case yeah, for ADA. And I did not want to explore any bullish, um, any bullish action here because 
it didn't make sense. And I think this is showing it now. We have made a lower low scenario fulfilled. In an ideal case, now we even go below 38 and a half cent. Now we can for fun calculate target for that wave five here in white. Uh, that depends a little bit on how low, <clears throat> how low will actually the, um, the way or how high will the way four go? Okay, so if we let's say okay, we go here only to yeah, maybe that way four high, and then what do we have? I mean, target here for that way five, possibly then looking at the um, no, I need to go here, yeah, but po possibly here the 3.618 extension <clears throat> or even the 4.618 extension. That would probably be coming very close here to the uh, 30 cent level and we would need to do the 5.618 extension to really reach that 88.7% FIP level. So <clears throat> I think we need some more price information here to see where we are really going to land. What I can tell you, if we, let's say, go a little bit higher here, um, let's say we come to 43.5 and, and we reverse down, next support will be that uh, swing low here at 40.3 cents. We need to break below that to get evidence that we are in wave five. And then the next support will be 38 and a half cents. Okay, and from there we can then take it further. All right, and that's my view about Cardano. So hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership and also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. There's daily additional content that you can find only there. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.